Okay, the focus of my talk will, uh, will be about the use of a new um, platform of materials. Uh, polymeric materials. They are called polyurethanes because they contain the urethane bond in their chain. But uh, together with this bond, they can contain blocks uh, made of other materials, such as polyesters or other materials that can be used or are already used in medicine. The advantage of combi combining these blocks in the, in the polymeric chain is that we can introduce several different functions in the polymer. And this is ideal when you want to use this polymer to create uh, 3D environments to uh, interact actively and proactively with cells. And these uh, materials can be therefore implemented to uh, application in biomedicines such as tissue engineering, drug delivery, uh, cancer therapy, or the creation of organ models, which is the uh, area in which our work has been developing more recently and will be the more, the more uh, um, important topic of my talk uh, today. Okay, uh, models, in vitro models, are systems that people are developing to replace uh, animal experiments. The reason for this effort are mainly two. Uh, one of them is the fact that uh, 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 using animals for testing is to some extent unethical, so there are a lot of effort to reduce these trials for ethical reasons. But the other reason, most important reason, is that these animal models are not predictive enough uh, with respect to what the human body will uh, do with respect to a drug or a, or a therapy. Uh, therefore, these models are realized by using human cells, usually, so that they reproduce the human uh, tissue, the human organs, in a more uh, close way, in a more reliable way. Uh, our work as material scientists in this effort is the, uh, the realization of 3D environment by using polymeric materials, mimicking the cellular environment that you will find in the body. So, for this reason, polyurethanes are very useful because you can, in the blocks I was describing before, you can introduce specific function where you can bind also uh, biomolecules or other um, factors that can uh, interact with cells and induce cell uh, differentiation in the case of stem cells, cell adhesion, cell proliferation. Uh, everything is uh, directed to the creation of a, of a uh, environment that reproduce to some extent the natural environment. This is, would be an ideal in vitro a tool to test the effect of drugs or the development of pathologies. Uh, in, in the talk I will also uh, describe how we can develop uh, human models of tissues uh, for young people, so healthy models, but also to modify these models, also by playing with the structure, the chemistry, and the design of the material and of the scaffold structure, in order to have uh, models of the aged diseases, uh, aged uh, tissues. And this will allow to have a, also um, a tool to investigate cures which are specific for the elderly people, which are specific for a tissue which is not younger anymore. And this is a, a key issue also in, the, in, in medical research, has been highlighted also by the H2020 uh, calls, the recent calls for European projects. Okay, so uh, this is the original uh, uh, goal we had in, in the development of polyurethanes. We saw that the materials that were present so far in, uh, as in, in the application of uh, uh, scaffolds for tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, these materials were not sufficiently functional and were not uh, matching all the requirements of the uh, of the of this uh, challenging uh, approach. Therefore, uh, we uh, selected these polyurethanes that contain some of the uh, features that the approved material had, such as polylactic acid, for example. But we included, by using this chemistry that combined different blocks, also other features, so we can uh, more precisely tailor mechanical properties 
uh, surface properties and provide chemical and biochemical cues to the cells. So that we develop uh, biomimicry with three tools, which is more effective than uh, um, only uh, mimicking uh, the surface chemistry. Uh, of course, polyurethanes are also versatile materials that can be used in rapid prototyping techniques because they're uh, thermoplastic polymers, thermoplastic materials, so they, were, they can be processed from the melt and we can use, therefore, uh, melt processing techniques to design scaffolds with precise geometry with uh, uh, this kind of techniques. Nevertheless, we also use uh, other, other approaches to create sponges by uh, phase inversion techniques so that we have a porous material in which cells can grow, proliferate and differentiate eventually.